Hey friends, Rob here. I see another zombie prank. I don't know if it was as funny as the Miami zombie prank, but the reality is it's still, you know, it's a joke. We all know it's kidding around and, you know, but they may get to part one of these days or doing that, scaring people, someone may backlash. We've already seen some of that, but hey, give me your comments. Taking a poll on more of a sober note, if you actually believe zombies exist Hit the com you know, give me your comments, hit the like button. And also if you believe there's some type of an influence that influences people to act like zombies, because the Zombie the zo zombies girlfriend basically stated from Miami, you know, the cannibal dude, that it was he was into voodoo. In the toxology report, there was only marijuana really found, so they thought it was bad salt or other. The reality, friends, is also give me your comments whether you believe demons exist. If you believe the influence of witchcraft, white witchcraft, uh, voodoo, horoscopes, tarot cards, Ouija boards, Satanism, the occult, can influence people to do stuff that they normally wouldn't do. If you believe the spirit world's real, demons, angels, heaven, hell, God, etc. Hey, I came on here. I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, my friends. I'll let the cat right out of the bag. I'll shoot straight from the hip. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. I want you to hit the subscribe button right now. Also under the search Rob Wood 1, many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube where I discuss, elaborate, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, in the book of John, the third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only Son, that if you would believe in Jesus, you would not perish but you would have everlasting and eternal life. And the only way you can have the assurance and insurance that when you take your last breath that you'll make heaven your home is by having Christ in your heart. And remember, Jesus, my friends, will never blow or knock the door down in your heart. God didn't create robots. God gave you a free will. You can accept Him due to obedience. You can reject Him due to disobedience. But as I stipulated and said before, you control the doorknob of your heart. I promise you this, if you open the door, my friends, God will blow you away with His love, compassion, grace, mercy, and kindness. It's the love of God that leads us to want to serve Him, to want to know Him. A lot of people know about God. God wants us to have a personal relationship with Him by His Son, Jesus, because Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to God or my or the Father except for me. Hey, if you want to recite or say this simple prayer with me, it's not really necessarily in reciting the prayer, it's the faith behind it. Simply say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Hey, if you prayed that prayer, God bless you. Again, give me your comments whether you believe zombies exist, the spirit world exists, demons exist, angels, God, etc., heaven, hell, eternity you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. Again, on the Rob Wood one, I've got many of the Christian preaching, teaching ministry videos. Eight, hey, be blessed. The Lord has a plan for your life.